Glory to God. I want to deal with something mighty on here. Um, your history of wealth before you came down in your body. Before you came down here and you took the form of an actual body, you was already rich in the spirit realm. Your heavenly life was a life of wealth, a life of riches. When you came down here on earth, oftentimes you have to uh, pursue that climate because you may not have parents that have returned back to their origin yet. So when you're born, you're not in that origin either. See, Zendaya is blessed because I'm in the origin that she was in with me when we was in heaven. See, Zendaya was already with me in eternity. So now Zendaya is being born and growing up out of the origin of heaven. So when she say Jesus's name, it's real to her because she's fresh out of that origin. But when she came to this realm through a physical body, I reacquainted her with the origin again, again. When Isaac was born, he was born into the origin that he had as riches and wealth. Because his biological father was Abraham. Job's children had inherited the origin that they had in the heavenlies, but they left it. That's how dangerous the world is that the world will make you leave the origin. The same thing as the prodigal son. Look at the prodigal son. He leaves the origin that is unlocked. See, saints, the next stage of you unlocking heaven on earth is that you have to protect that heaven and that you have to explore the depths of that heaven on earth. And the minute that you lose excitement for that heaven on earth, you actually will find a gate in hell to abide in. You notice abide in, abide in. Why did the Bible say that though he was rich, he became poor? That through his poverty, you might be made rich. Though he was rich, where was Jesus his rich? In eternity? Why did he release miracle money into a fish mouth, feed the multitude? Why? Because King Jesus knew how to translate the riches that he was and bring it into the now. Where did he become poor? At the cross. Because he became sin. And when Adam became sin, Adam was kicked out of what? The blessing. And what does the blessing do? Make you rich. So when King Jesus said though he was rich, he became poor. He became poor while he was dying on the cross because he became what Adam became after he disobeyed, which is sweat of the brow, toil, curse, hardship. If you remember Proverbs chapter, I think it's 13 verse 15, I believe. It says the way of the transgressor is hard, but a good understanding give it favor. It says the way of a transgressor. That means a person that transgresses against God, sins against God. Their way is hard. See, you was never created to live a hard life. Your life, your life get hard when your mind goes places that is never supposed to go. Think about it. Where is the real hardship in the mind? 
Job having the boils on his body was not the hardest thing. His mind hearing his friends tell him wrong information. Him hearing demons tell him that God didn't love him because he got the boils on his body. That was where the hardship was. Hardship or easiness is in the mind. Hereby you see Apostle Paul with an infirmity, but yet King Jesus says, my grace is sufficient for you. What is King Jesus doing? No matter what's happening to you in your body, stick to what I'm telling you in the mind. Don't study the body, study the mind. Because the mind is going to give you the accurate interpretation of what's really going on in the spirit, not the body. The body will give you feelings. They'll give you all type of interpretations and prophecies. But don't listen to the prophecy of the body. Listen to the prophecy of my spirit speaking to your mind. And this is why the infirmity that Apostle Paul had, remember the Bible says that it was the messengers of Satan, which mean that it was prophetic demons that were prophesying to Apostle Paul through the body. So what was happening in Apostle Paul's, Apostle Paul's body, the prophetic demons were giving him a report to make him think wrongly about God because of what was happening to his body. And King Jesus, he delivers him by telling him, my grace is sufficient for you and my power is made known in this weakness. Before you came in your mother's womb, you was already rich, you was already wealthy, you was already blessed. If you live any life less of that, you're, shutting, you're cutting yourself short of the glory of God. Isaiah the prophet says something powerful. He prophesied on the behalf of the Lord in Isaiah 48 verse 17. And he says, I am the Lord that teacheth you how to profit. He says, I am the Lord that teacheth you how to profit, which shows you that you going back to your wealthy place is that you have to receive the anointing of teachings being taught. And saints, his was so powerful. Psalm, Psalm chapter 66 verse um 66 verse 12, I believe, it says that thou brought us out into a wealthy place. The wealthy place is in heaven before on earth. So you got to function out of the heavenly realm to go back to where you was in wealth. For you to locate the actual lifestyle here on this earth. See, the hundredfold is not an earthly thing. That's why Isaac stepped into it when he was sowing real strong because it was a heavenly location. It was a heavenly lifestyle. And his seed sowing unlocked the heavenly lifestyle and got it to manifest here on earth. That's why the Philistines and the people in his region, they wanted him to get out of the region because they couldn't locate the place that he was in. Because Isaac was not functioning from a natural location. He was functioning from the heavenly location and got it to be brought down to the earth. You could not go to a store to find the food that King Jesus fed at the, at, uh, uh, the multitude, the 4,000, the 5,000. You could not go to a location and find that, ma that manner of fish. Nobody was able to buy 5,000 fish, 4,000 fish in, in 5,000 loaves. King Jesus went to his original location. Excuse me, I want to shout, but Zendaya is sleeping right now. I just put her asleep. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, Shababa Sikaya. Oro do boste que te leste telebusa. Glory to God. You like that? That Harlem shake tongues. 
Hey, Shabababa Shandi Hoshe. Isho Tolobo Shetere de Diondo, do, 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 Watch out now, watch out now, I might come around on you now. I might not, I might, I might juke you. Stick to the joking. Stick to the joking. Stick to the joking. I'm not playing with you. Stick to the joking. Saints, I'm saying something powerful here. Are you catching this? I'm saying something powerful on here. I said that King Jesus, there was no natural store that you could buy 5,000 fish and 5,000 loaves. What King Jesus did was went into his wealthy place, his storehouse, his restaurant. King Jesus had an invisible restaurant. It was in the heavenlies. And he went go get that food. And he had angels bring that food to him. And manifested here on earth. And he started serving the people through his disciples. Now, why did he use his disciples to serve the people after the miracle? Because he wanted them to learn how to distribute from their original origin, which was wealth and riches. He was showing them how to go back to their origin and release it to the earth. Because the earth it, it has deceptive power to convince you that all you can see is all that you have. The earth can trick you into believing that all that's in your bank account is all that you really possess. All that you live around is all that you really have. It will convince you that the place that you're living right now is actually your home when it's really not your home. You just occupying that while you in school to learn how to activate the real home that you're going to live in. That's not your real car. That's just the car that you driving while you in supernatural college. Because you in college right now, you learning how to unlock the car after you graduate. Oh, secretary, I, oh, oh. See, what you gotta catch here is that college students, they often make a lot of sacrifices, right? Because they know that they need to pay off for their curriculum and their semester. They got to pay for their books, their dorm room. And so they make a lot of sacrifices. I know a lot of college students that are always hungry. Or I have known of college students that were always hungry, rather. And so when I deal with that realm of you being in supernatural college, it's a place where you have to make sacrifices. That's not your final destiny. You're learning how to unlock your income that was already unlocked when you was in heaven. See, saints, that's why King Jesus in Ephesians, he made you to sit. Why did he make you sit? Because your flesh don't know how to sit down. Your flesh is an enemy to you sitting in the heavenly places. All your life, you have made your life harder than it was supposed to be. You was never supposed to connect with that one. You was never supposed to pursue that. You was never supposed to think in that pattern. And so you have always been guilty of actually choosing hardship and transgression rather than easiness and blessing. So he made you to sit because King Jesus actually has to force you to operate out of your origin because there's all type of demon spirits that have already planned, pre-planned how to trick you out of thinking that you're supposed to be wealthy. 
the spirit of tradition, the spirit of self-righteousness, the spirit of false humility. People think that the less they have, the more humble they are. Well, I don't need all those things. All I need is God. Well, you wicked. Because if you love people and people need those things, why wouldn't you let God give it to you since you don't need it and you could give it to those that do need it? Oh, I don't need no big old house. All I just love God. Well, if you don't need the big old house, why not let God give it to you and you can go house people in the house? But see the spirit of false humility, which is a demon. It's false humility. See, you heard about all this stuff so much, false prophet, false this, but we don't talk about false humility, huh? False humility make you feel, oh no, I don't need that. Um, I don't need that. You know, God don't have to do that. Yeah, but, but why not let God do it for you so that you can share it with someone? Because saints, when you become wealthy, you become Jehovah Jireh to others. <laughs> when you become rich, you become El Shaddai. When, when, when you become rich, you become the God of miracles. You become that. You function like you are a blessing, blessing others. God promised Abraham that I shall bless you and you shall become a God that blesses others. So, so you receive your blessing from me, but they gonna receive their blessing from you. Shabakarababasoko. Now, mind you, this is in everybody's destiny. The Abrahamic prophecy, it continues. And so you got an origin that you have come out of where you were supposed to be a God over provision on earth. That's why the Bible says, if you faithful over a few things, I make you rule over much. Well, he's saying, if you faithful over the Godship, over that level of provision, I'm going to make you a God over more. See, Abraham was rich before he came to earth. But he went through terror, his biological father, and that place that he went through was not carrying the riches. So God tells him, leave that. Because the mentality, the mindset, the decision making, the work ethic, the behavior, the conduct was going to be adversarial to who Abraham was in the spirit. So when he leaves, money cometh. See, money cometh is connected to what you choose to leave. <laughs> money cometh is connected to what you choose to depart from. When Abraham leaveth, money cometh. Because the money cometh was not in the path that he was taught. It was in the path that he was being taught. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Money cometh is not in what he learned. Money cometh was in what he was learning. Remember, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee how to profit. But here's what's so powerful. God sends the prophet to teach you how to profit. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
He sends the prophet to teach you how to profit. So your profit is in your profit. Your profit, P-R-O-F, is in your profit, P-R-O-P. Moses was teaching them how to please God, but he was teaching them how to prosper in money. Because every time you please God, you prosper in money. When you give God pleasure, he pursues your pleasure in finances. So Moses was the teacher that was teaching them how to unlock continual finances. Because if they would have listened to Moses, Moses had the power to release angels that were prosperity angels that was going to minister to them and take them further and further into their original origin, which was wealth. See, and Moses had already passed from death to life. Moses was operating out of what? The glory. Which really means that he was operating out of what? Heaven. He was really operating out of what? Paradise. Now saints, I'm about to say something powerful. You notice that King Jesus tells the what? The thief. That he shall be with him where? In paradise. Why? Why? Because the thief, King Jesus said, come to steal, kill, destroy. The thief is repenting. He's saying, I don't want to steal no more. So King Jesus said, because you don't want to steal no more, I'm going to let you come to the place where people who refuse to steal, they live. I'm going to let you go there. Because paradise is a place where you unlock all of your enjoyment because you was a sower. Because you honored God with everything he put in your hands. Saints, I'm going to shock you. And, and you never heard this before. When the thief went to paradise, he didn't have nothing there that belonged to him. He had to go to school. Jesus didn't take him to paradise for him to enjoy himself. He took him to paradise for him to learn. Because he didn't do nothing down here to earn nothing. He didn't store up treasures in heaven. Why? Because he was a thief. See, I hope that you don't make it to heaven homeless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my God, pa pa pa, re te te pe ke re do vos, ha 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 ha. I hope you don't make it to heaven homeless. Hey 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 hey. Saints. Lazarus made it to heaven, but he had to live with Abraham because that was going to be the uh, only choice unless he was going to be homeless. See, you want to live with your man of God because you want to, because you want to enjoy your man of God, not because that's the only option. See, see, you want to be able to travel. I'm going over to my place, prophet. I'll see you next week. Uh, Prophet Joshua Holmes, I, I love you so much. I'm going to see you. I'm going to go chill at my place and I'll holler. 
this hot boy, this hot boy. Saints, can't y'all see the shift? Why you think that the shift in the teachings like this? I'm in there. This is that that was prophesied by the prophet Malachi. Better yet, because he said they're going to send the spirit of Elijah. Remember Malachi said that he'll send the spirit of Elijah? And if, if the earth don't repent, he'll strike it with a curse. But this is that that was prophesied by the prophet Haggai. And remember Haggai said that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You have an origin of being wealthy. And when you start moving in the will of God, which is sowing seed, seed time and harvest, honoring the Lord with what you have. God will reintroduce you to where you came from which is king and priest, which is royal priesthood. Saints, remember I told you that I have my own nation in heaven, right? In paradise, right? Remember, and I said some people, people will be able to live there. Remember, the Bible calls you a holy nation. Why did he call you a holy nation? Which shows you that your origin goes beyond just being a person. You was a place. Your, your origin goes beyond just being a person. You was a place. When the angel, that cherubim called Jacob Israel, the angel is saying, you're Jacob, you're a person. But really, in the spirit realm, you are a place. So I'm going to call you the name of a what? Not a person, a place. So saints, what you think happened when people spoke to Jacob? They entered into a place in the spirit. So, so what do you think that happens when you're listening to Prophet Joshua Holmes? You're entering into a place in which there's glory, there's angels, there's power, there's fire, there's victory, there's restoration, there's jubilee. See, King Jesus tells the thief, you will be with me in paradise. Why? Because King Jesus is not operating as King Jesus normally operates. He's operating in a place where Adam was, which is called sin. So, so he doesn't tell the man, I am paradise. He doesn't tell the man. He said, you shall be with me in paradise. Because King Jesus is saying, I need to leave this place that I'm in. For you to really experience the paradise that I am. But see, Mary Magdalene didn't hear King Jesus tell her, you shall be with me in paradise. Why? Because she had already experienced the paradise Jesus. King Jesus doesn't talk to John and tell John, you shall be with me in paradise. Because John had already experienced the paradise Jesus. 